Hey y'all, let's take a look at what's called absolute value. And we'll get to that in a sec, but let's look at this. You probably have seen number lines before. Um, it's almost like a, you know, like a thermometer outside. Do they still have those anymore? I don't know. Um, like the, you know, if it's a nice freezing day, it's like negative one degrees outside, negative two, then just keeps going, dipping lower and lower. But if it's a nice, healthy, warm, brisk day, it goes all the way up to one degree and two degrees and three degrees and so on. It's nice and shorts weather. So anyway, okay. But that's what a number line is. It looks like that. It goes on to the positives on the right and goes to the negatives on the left. Um, negative numbers are, you can see them right there. Now opposites on a number line basically mean it's the same, they're the same distance from zero. So that's why you can say, well, you know, here's four and the opposite of four is negative four it's exactly the same distance away from zero on the on the number line going the other direction. If you add two opposites together, you get zero. In other words, if somebody says to you, hey, I just earned four dollars, and somebody else goes, yeah, you owe me four dollars, you go, oh, okay, now I'm back to nothing again. So that's what opposites do. Um, writing signed numbers basically means just, I mean, look, you can call this if you, this, this gets confusing to people, but it's really not. You can call it whatever you want. In other words, if somebody says to you, uh, minus five, fine, call it minus five. If somebody says, well, that's a negative five, fine, it's negative five, whatever you want to say, okay? When you add numbers together, that's basically the same thing as saying, um, uh, you know, you're going to add the negative of a number. For, for example, if you see nine minus six, that's the same thing as going, well, there's a nine there. And there's also right next to the nine, together with it, a negative six. So in other words, if you're at the bank and you went, oh, I'm, I'm depositing $9 and you're going, oh yeah, later on the day, oh, I need to withdraw $6. Well, on net, you have $3 that you have you know, added to your bank account. Um, absolute value sign, you should know this. The, the meaning of absolute value means, make sure you understand this, you might want to write this down in your notes, but the meaning of absolute value is the distance from zero. That's what that means. Okay, make sure you understand that. That's going to come in very handy for you. Okay, so the meaning of absolute value is how far away is that number from zero. Okay, so and this is how you write it, by the way. If somebody says to you the absolute value of five, you just surround it with two, you know, vertical lines. That's what it looks like. So the question is, okay, well, what is the absolute value of five? How far away from zero is five? Well, the answer is, you'll not be surprised to learn five, okay? What you might be surprised to learn, however, is this. If somebody goes, oh, what is the absolute value of negative four? What the person's asking you is how far away from zero is negative four? And the answer is, it's four away from zero, right? And that's all there is to it. Knowing that, is going to be handy when you add signed numbers and um, and listen what we're doing coming up adding and subtracting different signed numbers I'm gonna tell you something this is the meat and potatoes of algebra you better know this this will either uh, make things really really easy for you or this will absolutely kill you okay I have discovered through 23 four years of teaching algebra that the number one issue kids have with algebra is not about X's and Y's and all that jazz it's that they do not know their addition and subtraction tables and their times tables as well so if they sit there and they go if you if you can't do 13 minus 8 like immediately is 5 you're gonna you're in trouble Okay, I mean, if you don't know eight plus nine immediately, you're in trouble. So you need to go to something like, uh, they have something like, it's called softschools.com. You can go on there and do practice, you know, worksheets. You need to get fast at these. It needs to be immediate and it needs to be correct. You're gonna die if you don't know your tables and you try to mess with all these adding and subtracting sign numbers, it's gonna be a misery. So, I mean, you might even want to take off. I mean, I don't want to be doing anything drastic. So, but I would consider taking a couple of, like a month off or something and just doing these like, like a dog every day until you get faster and faster at them because you're going to be miserable doing messing with these things without knowing these things very quickly. Like what's 14 minus nine? See, you should have said five immediately. If you had to go, well, let's see, I know that the, uh, no, you had, you had to memorize it. So 
Anyway, just a suggestion. It's going to save you a lot of heartache, okay? I actually worked with a girl about probably 10 years ago, and her mom was telling me it was like, um, what was it? Um, maybe Saxon 7 6. And her mom goes, Oh, Saxon's terrible. It takes my daughter three hours to do one lesson. And I went, What in the heck? Three hours? I mean, you could, like, you could, all, you could I mean, you could. You can do a lot of stuff in three hours. Okay, I said, well, okay, let's let's figure out what the problem is. So she goes, okay. I, I said, okay, let's do number ten together. Okay, that's uh, seven hundred eighty-five times twenty-three. Go ahead. And she goes, or maybe it was like seven hundred eighty-nine or something. She goes, okay, nine times three. All right, so nine times three. I know that nine times three. All right, then you take your fingers and you knock down one, two, three. You put down the third finger and you count them. This is two fingers. Okay, okay, my, okay, we discovered the problem. Okay, you know me doing on nine times three by counting fingers and five times three. Okay, uh, five, ten, fifteen. Oh, fifty. Yeah, you gotta know your tables perfectly. It's like knowing phonics. Your parents, no doubt, teach you phonics instead of that whole language, you know, sight word garbage. Because people who learn sight words and, and um, they learn by sight words and let their learn whole language or whatever, they don't learn to read. It never happens. You, you just simply learn to look at little flashcards and guess words. So you learn phonics so you can do any word. You learn your tables so you can mess with any number and not have to sit there for 20 minutes trying to figure out, you know, good grief, it takes you 10 minutes to do one problem in Saxon? That is several hours, you're crazy. Anyway, let's get to the meat here, okay. So, um, using arrows to add, you gotta know your plus and minus facts again, so make sure you do that. In other words, what you're gonna do is, it'll say something like this, um, use arrows in a number line to add positive two and negative three. Okay, so in other words, we're gonna add positive two plus negative three, and real quickly. You can either say this or write this like this. There's a two, and then we're gonna add negative three. You can either go like this, oh, positive two plus negative three. That's one thing, or one way you could write it. Another way you could write it is you could just go two and then minus three. A two and a negative three together gives you a certain number. So if you're on a number line, positive two, you'd start here, right? You're going to add negative three, which means, <clears throat> which means you're going to go backwards. One, two, three, and the answer is negative one. Positive two plus negative three is negative one, okay? And we're going to learn a better method pretty soon, okay? They're going to add negative three and positive one, okay? And again, two ways to do this. You can go, okay, that's going to be negative three plus positive one. Or if you wanted to, you could just go like this, negative three plus one, same thing. Or you could reverse it. I mean, it doesn't matter what order you add things, right? What's five plus six? 11. What's six plus five? 11. So negative three plus one is the same thing as a one there, and then minus a three, it's the same thing. But let's just do it. So you're at negative three, we start there. We're gonna add one, which means we go to the right on the number line, and the answer will be negative two. You should be noticing, by the way, that you've got, oh wow, there's a three and a one there, and it ends up at a two. Hmm. Three and one and two, those are all kind of related. Wait a minute, a two and a three, and that's gonna be, ne oh, hold on a second. Three minus two is one, wait a minute, there's something there, and there is, and we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so let's do this one. Um, first one, we'll go positive two plus positive one on a number line. Well, we start right here, right? If we go, if we add a positive number, we go to the right, so the answer is three, okay? How about this one? We go a negative two, and we add a negative one. So we, we start here, we go negative one. If we add a negative, we go this way, right? So there's your answer, negative three, okay? There will be a rule, we'll talk about that, so it'll tell you how to do it next time, but let's try practice problems on page 220. Um, do A, B, C, and D, and let's come back, all right, pause it. Okay, we're just gonna add these. Let's go on this first one. Uh, I got a positive two plus a negative four. That means I'm st starting there at positive two. I'm gonna go left, one, two, three, four, and then there's my answer, negative two. You should notice, again, wait, there's something to this. There's a four, you know, two plus two is four. There's something going on there, and there, and there is. Okay, so we'll start at negative two plus positive four. So we'll go right here, and we're gonna add four. That'll be one, two, three, four, and our answer is positive two, okay? C, I got negative two plus negative three. It means I'm gonna start right here. If I add a positive three, I go this way. But if I add a negative three, I go this way. So I end up at negative five, okay, on D. 
I start at positive two and I add positive three. Well, I, you know, that's not too hard. There's your two. You add three over there to five and that's your answer. Okay, that's all there is to it. All right, let's try these last three. Now this is kind of funky here. This is a little weird. You might be going, oh man, do I want to draw a giant number line with all this stuff on there? And like, okay, let's do the first one. Um, negative 14 plus positive two, please do not write some number line all the way down to negative 14. Just write a number line with negative 14 like right there. Don't do any rest of this stuff, okay? You can go in your head and go, okay, I'm starting here, but I'm adding positive two, I'm going to the right. One, two, there's where I'm gonna end up. So negative 14, negative 13, and the answer is negative 12. Same thing here, for heaven's sakes, don't write a number line with 41 numbers on it, all right? So you just go over here and just make a big hunk of something and go, oh, there's my 41, okay. So plus a negative eight, which means you're going which way on the number line? You're going left, right? So you're just gonna go you, you, you eight times and you will notice that you'll get right to 33. So look at this, by the way. I mean, at 41 plus a negative eight, another way to write that is just, you could go just 41 and a minus eight. I mean, there's one number sitting there. There's another number sitting there. They're both together. You know, it's 41 minus eight. It's the same thing, all right? Same thing over here. You could write this if you wanted to. I got a negative four sitting there. I'm gonna plop a negative 15 right next to it and get them together. So if you're on your number line in this one, you're, ooh, that's kind of weird. All right, you're at number four, just go, I mean, negative four. You're at negative four. You go over 15 times. You probably didn't have to do this, but you could just kill, okay. The answer is negative 19. Boom, there you go. Okay, next time we're gonna show you a better way to do this, a foolproof way, but you've got to know your pluses and minuses, those tables. And if you don't, you need to ask mom to buy you some worksheets, the random ones. I mean, don't, don't do tens, those are too easy. Or don't do ones, that's a piece of cake. Do other ones, especially ones you need help with. Okay, so get those down. So, all right, see ya.